The GarageBand iOS Digital Audio Workstation app is capable of high quality audio recording on the iPhone and iPad. In this video, we'll cover how to use some of the audio recording tools to record with your iPhone or iPad microphone, or with an external microphone with the USB lightning adapter that we covered in the last video. Before continuing, make sure to check out the previous videos in the series so you're all caught up. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever our new videos are released. That way you can keep learning about GarageBand iOS and home recording. To start audio recording with GarageBand iOS, go to the Tracks view at the top and select a new audio recorder track. We have two options here. We can select either a voice track or an instrument track. Under the More Sounds option, there's a lot of different track options as well. Starting with the default voice track, we can see the left side gives us our input for our microphone from our device or audio interface. If you're looking to use an external device or microphone, you'll need to connect an audio interface or a USB microphone like we did in the previous video with the Apple USB Lightning connector. The left side gives us an input level that we can see with the meter. We can also bring the slider up or down to change the input level. If we click the Input Options button above this, we can see InterApp Audio for connecting GarageBand iOS to different apps on our device, or we can select a noise gate that we can turn on and set the threshold level. In the middle, we have different controls that we can adjust for our voice. We have knobs for Tone, Pitch Control, Compressor, Drive, and Vocal Hall. The right side has one more level control for the final level of the track. If we're recording an instrument instead, the controls we'll get will be Tone, Presence, Compressor, and Room. Again, we get the input on the left side and the output on the right. There's plenty more types of audio tracks and default presets we can use with the GarageBand iOS app. To get these, go to the triangle dropdown in the top left. We'll see along the left side we have presets for drums, keyboards, acoustic guitar, vocals, producer effects, and fun. All of these will have their own different knobs and controls to fully be able to adjust the sound. When they're ready to record, just move our cursor in the project to the start of the project, then press the record button to start recording. Once you're done, just press the stop button. Going back to the track, we can see the waveform has shown up in the tracks view in GarageBand. If we touch this track, we get options for cut, copy, delete, loop, split, rename, and settings. The settings control gives us gain, speed, looping, follow tempo and pitch, and reverse settings. If we want to trim an audio clip that we recorded, we just have to touch that clip to select it, then touch and drag from the end towards the middle to trim the end of the clip to get rid of any extra noise. With all these tools, you should be able to record audio clips with either instruments or vocals using the iPhone or iPad microphone or an external device connected to the USB lightning connector. Thanks for checking out this video on audio recording with GarageBand for iOS. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to see all our new videos. You can also check the video description for products featured in this video and social media links to see all our new content.